You all know that plants need water to grow. Plants bury their roots deep into the soil so that they can gather enough soil to stick to. First, the water comes to the ground in the form of rain. It travels down through the soil, picking up nutrients from the soil. Eventually, the water, dissolved with valuable nutrients and minerals, runs into a tree root. The water molecule is attracted to the organic tissue that makes up the root of the tree. Did you ever try to grow a plant at your home? It could be a flowering or a non-flowering plant. This simple experiment gives you an insight of how a plant grows from a seed and the mechanism involved in this. The materials required are very simple and can be easily procured at home, except the soil which you have to visit your playground. You have also been provided with some cocoa peat by us, an ideal soil to grow potted plants in. Till now, you must have come across the word irrigation in your textbooks in relation to agriculture. This word irrigation means the application of controlled amount of water to plants at regular intervals. It helps in growing crops, maintain landscapes and revegetate disturbed soils in dry areas or areas with less rain. Irrigation is actually a very time-consuming process which includes a lot of labor and cost and obviously water and sunlight. Water is one thing which is required by all living beings but is a valuable resource which is getting depleted day by day. So this experiment will help us in using water efficiently and effectively. This experiment is based on a phenomenon called capillary action. Capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of, or even in opposition to, external forces like gravity. Conventional irrigation has a tendency to use large amounts of water. The term capillary wick irrigation system describes a family of irrigation systems that apply water through the wick. These wicks deliver water onto the soil surface very near to the place or directly to the root areas. The rate of application of water is very low, hence this saves a lot of water. Irrigation is used to grow crops in agricultural lands. There are several methods of irrigation. The methods vary in how the water is supplied to the plants. The types of irrigation are surface irrigation, micro-irrigation, for example drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, this has many examples like center pivot irrigation, irrigation by lateral movement, a lawn sprinkler, a house end sprinkler, and the fourth category which is sub-irrigation. The capillary wick irrigation system or CWS is a sub-irrigation system that involves the use of a device that delivers water by capillary movement from a reservoir to the plant growing medium. Irrigation systems that water directly into the containers apply less water than overhead application irrigation systems, thus conserving water. An example of such a type of irrigation system is the CWS. All sub-irrigation systems rely on capillary action to move water up through the growing media against gravity. Capillarity is a result of attraction of water molecules to each other and another surface. It is the natural capillary action of the soil to move water up to the plants efficiently to reduce the usage of water and thus reduces the overall cost. This capillary system delivers water to the root zone where it is needed most. How this actually happens in the irrigation process is as follows. Soil gets water from the rain. The water then seeps in through the soil and takes up the nutrients and rises up the root of the tree and to its branches through the stem. This spontaneous rising of water against gravity is the outcome of three forces, cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. Cohesion means attaching the same substance together, so in this case the water molecules in the case of plants. Adhesion means attaching different substances together, so the water molecule and the inner side of the root surface or stem in the case of plants. And surface tension is the intermolecular attraction that forms a thin outer layer of water. The capillarity of a liquid is said to be high when adhesion is greater than the cohesion. Capillary system is seen in most of the plants. Water is brought up the tree and its branches. Evaporation and transpiration happen from the leaves, creating some depressurization, which helps in pulling more water up. Osmotic pressure, which is caused in the roots or at other places inside the plants or trees, also aids in the drawing of water. The schematic diagram shows an experiment on wick-based irrigation system. 
Here, water is transferred to the plants through the piping system. When you perform this experiment at home, you had used a plastic bottle, cotton wick, soil, water and a few seeds. You yourself would have seen how the wick delivers water to the seeds and small seedlings come out within a few days. But you can try out this experiment with different types of liquids too, like ink, food colour, etc. By capillary motion, the wick soaked only a particular amount of water each time. This experiment also depends on the type of wick materials. You can try it out with different variations like cloth, cotton wick or polyester material. Which material works the best for your experiment? Another place where you can see capillary action is if you have ever donated blood. Before you donate blood, the nurse or the doctor will prick your finger to get a sample of the blood for testing iron levels and the hemoglobin level. She or he will place a narrow glass tube called a capillary tube where your finger was pricked. You will see how fast your blood rises up the tube as if the nurse has sucked in the blood but it's just another example of capillary action. Another example is in your eyes. The tear duct in the corner of each eye has a narrow tube called the lacrimal duct that uses capillary action to drain excess tears into the nasal passage. A kerosene lamp works through capillary action of the wick which draws fuel from the fuel tank to the burner when it gets ignited. Capillary action draws ink to the tip in a fountain pen. Candles also use this phenomenon as the molten liquid wax rises in the wick. We hope you had fun while performing this experiment. Now you will also have a better understanding of the concept of irrigation and the capillary action of the wick based system involved in it. You will also have a clear concept of how plants use the water from the soil and use it for their growth. CWS, a sub-irrigation system, is a new innovative technique of irrigation that is simple to install, operate and uses minimal amount of water and fertilizer. It involves the use of a device that delivers water by capillary movement from a reservoir to the plant growing medium. This system is heavily used by people with terrace gardens and by nurseries too. The conventional methods use a lot of water, whereas this system of irrigation saves around 80% of water. But this system has a few drawbacks and limitations. The wick needs to be maintained and changed regularly. The reservoir needs to be resupplied with water regularly. And it can only be done on a small scale with potted plants, etc. As soon as you have an entire field at ground level, it is other irrigation systems such as drip irrigation which become more popular. But the most remarkable thing about a wick based system is that the wick will capillary up only as much water as the plant requires. In essence, it is the plant that is determining how much water it needs and it gets exactly that much. No less, no more. How cool is that? Let's hope your balcony garden or terrace garden is now filled with wick based bottles and pots growing various lovely plants. Thank you.